It is grave what is going on in Uganda. Unmarked vehicles are abducting hundreds of people in the streets of Uganda. The young people are being picked from all over the country. They are being murdered and dropped on the streets. He had severe, severe gunshots on his head. Those that have been lucky to return, told of how they've been gravely tortured, the males have been castrated, their eyes have been removed, fingernails have been removed. At his house, Oka Abi, the Vasco and Vazin Kuba Cabina. Bagging Okrand was a cabinet to catch our Ulida, Nevada Mugongo. Those who return to tell their stories are the lucky ones. Many haven't been seen again. Thousands have been abducted and they continue to be abducted as we speak. It's Easter Sunday and Bobby Wine is taking politics to the pulpit. I am speaking on behalf of many Ugandans that are questioning the death, not only the death of Dr. Cyprian Chishkowanda, but the death of outspoken religious leaders, deaths that have not been explained. Hundreds of opposition supporters have gone missing following a widely disputed national election that saw President Museveni win a sixth term in office with his closest rival pop star turned politician Bobby Wine coming in second. Amid is all the rigging, amid is all the irregularities, amid is all the violence, the people asserted their voices. From the moment he declared he was running for president, Bobby Wine has been hounded by the police. He was arrested hours after announcing his candidacy, and during the campaign, he was detained in the eastern part of the country, an incident which sparked protests that saw more than 50 people shot dead by security forces. Following the election, he was held under house arrest by the government who claimed his presence would provoke riots in the streets. About an hour ago, we saw soldiers, military men with AK-47 assault rifles, they jumped over our fence, took charge of this compound. They arrested our security guard, beat him so bad and made him roll in the mud. Museveni has accused Wine and his supporters of being traitors, planning an insurrection with foreign support. We are the majority. We are suffering Uganda, especially the young people of this country. Now it is rather shameful for General Museveni to claim that all Ugandans that want a better country are being inspired by the West to demand for a better country. I must also say that for all dictators, you saw what Gaddafi was saying, you saw what Mugabe was saying, you saw what Bashir was saying, you saw what Hosin Mubarak was saying. That is their narrative. They will blame every resistance on foreigners. Bobby Wine's party claims that as of March, 423 of his supporters have gone missing after being picked up by security forces in unmarked minivans, known locally as drones. They came to my room with, while pointing guns at my mom, and they were like, tell him to get out with his, with his hands up. They got out, and they started hitting me and beating me. They actually thought I was, I was zebra, and they pointed guns at me and they kept asking me, where is Zebra, where is Zebra, are you Zebra? Zebra, the former national boxing captain, was shot dead in the middle of the night in front of his family by security forces. Uh, they brought me and mom to, to the living room, to the sitting room, and, and made us kneel down. They had hit my ankles, hit my knees, hit my elbow uh, with the batons and the, gun, the, and the guns. They were still asking the same question, where is Zebra? So I came closer to check and I put on my flashlight, the flashlight on my phone, and to see, but I could not recognize him because 
he had severe, severe gunshots on his head. Uh, th these are the gunshots they shot at him while he was turning and his head was swollen around here and there was a big gap around his jaw. Zebra was a close ally of Bobby Wine. He was part of an inner sanctum of boxers hired to protect the ballot boxes on polling day. He believes Zebra and others were killed because they refused to embrace a plot by the state to attack him. And I'm aware that there was a, a, a program to have Zebra and the boxers that he leads to attack me and my team and cause violence towards us. But Zebra informed me because he always spoke to me that he was not going to do what they wanted him to do. And they learned that Zebra was not going to do what they wanted him to do to me. And I'm convinced that that is the reason why they had him executed. And indeed Museveni came to on national TV and owned up and said it is his people, it is his soldiers that executed Zebra. That's how I came to know that it was our own people who were involved. I'm very sorry about this. I've already talked to the wife and the son, and I'm going to investigate the whole situation. And that was it. Those are operational mistakes. They happen across the world. We are not operating in isolation. You've had even in the mighty United States, you have had even in the UK, everywhere, where some operational errors can happen. But if they happen, is action taken? That is what is important. <laughs> The army claims that the terror threats presented by al-Shabaab have made covert operations necessary. In July 2010, Suicide bombings killed 74 people watching outdoor screenings of the Football World Cup final. In this world where terrorism has been at its height, we suffered just near here a lot of casualties. So we are not going to be getting or detecting somebody involved in terrorism-related activities or someone who is planning such acts. And we go to beg him that we are going to arrest you. We shall pick you using covert operations. Covert operations are not new to Uganda. Security, petrol river security agencies, Abatamburira Mudroni. Omulimu Gotuko, I can start for information, Kuvaga or Koche Chibuga. Information. When they were traveling, they were intercepted by the military, and after being checked, um, they were found with membership cards of the National Inter Platform, the party that I lead. And two of them were gravely tortured. They died and their bodies were disposed of in areas that are still unknown. Bakubuza, Ebibuzo, Ebimu, Ebien Jaulo, Gabaku Gamba, Twagala Tumani, Bobby Wayne, Chichichazako, Era Plan Chijain. 
Katenze, we bambu zebuzo, Nabadam, and Techamazima. Sinach and Manuque, Mokolachi, be Mumboza. Co bonga rach to Mani, got ready to Kutambulia Kovichim, got to Kulava, never gamba, Mani, Coboga Lamida, Cataninga Lamida. Idaba Kakuto Sawibat, Waba Waba Vida Zivanga and Polugumanga Baswaki D. At his ass or Kaabi, the Vasco and Vazin Bakavina. Bagging no crandos are Kavina to catch our Wurida, Nevada Mugongo. We have a Mugongo, Nevada Kuvisambi. We have a Kuvisambi, Nevada Kavad Dakoti, Kumotoni Consing Oku. But a Kako or Kuniga Uva Kati Fetuita Amaka, Nevaso Kunigi, ever so look Kolachi, or Kogiza. At a nice Wabubi, of nice Wabubi, never married his younger Van Kote, Nevan Sula Samoya. Meanwhile, family members left behind spend days traveling to prisons and police stations across the country, trying to track down their loved ones. I police. The people of Uganda must rise to the occasion this time. We can all rally together, we can all be leaders, turn up um, in various ways, non-violently, unarmed, but very assertive. We can raise our voices, have those that rule over us submit to the fact that power is indeed in the hands of the people.